Good day and welcome to Mathematics Grade 2. For any questions or concerns, please contact me via email at teachinarisha at gmail.com. For today's counting activity, please count from 1 to 50 and back to 1. In multiples of 2 to 50 and back to 2. In multiples of 5 to 50 and back to 5. In multiples of 10 to 50 and back to 10. And then lastly, I want you to count from 27 on to 50 and back to 27. Please pause the screen as you do your counting activity. When you are done with your counting activity, please open on page 19. Write today's day and the date. So today will be Thursday, Thursday, 28.01.2021. So the 28th of January 2021. Then I want you to order from big to small, from small to big. Write the number name for 14, use your Unifix blocks and show me 4 units, 1 10, 3 units and then 2 tens. When you are done, please complete the number bonds of 8. So today we will be looking at 8, 6 and 2, 8, 7 and 1. So remember, 6 plus 2 equals 8, 2 plus 6 equals 8, 8 take away 6 equals 2. And 8 take away 2 equals 6. So we want 2 plus sums and 2 minus sums. You cannot say 2 take away 8 because that's not how math works. We always start with the biggest number and work smaller. When you are done with your mental maths, you can unpause the screen and continue with the lesson. So today we're going to look at different ways on how to solve equations or how to solve sums. So this is something we call a 10 frame. So here we have two 10 frames. We will always be working with two 10 frames and I will show you now why. So when we have a 10 frame, we have 10 blocks in a 10 frame. And when we fill up the 10 blocks, we have one 10. If we only don't have enough space on our 10 blocks like for instance this was the number 16 we use the six units or ones to fill in the next 10 block but remember when a 10 block is not full we only refer to these single ones as units so a full 10 block gives us a 10 and a loose or empty 10 block gives us units so how are we going to use this to solve sums ma'am so each number has its own 10 block. So for the number 8, I'm going to use the 10 block at the top. And I'm going to put in 8 counters. Then for the number 7, I'm going to put in 7 counters. Now we want to fill up our 10 block. So we are going to take 2 counters from the 7 and put them over here because we have 2 spaces left. So I put my first counter and my second counter. Now I have 10 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my new equation will be 10 plus 5. And now this is easier to solve. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 10 plus 5 is 15. But remember, our original sum was 8 plus 7. So here we can see I have 8 plus 7. But we know 8 plus 7 can be made into 10 plus 5, which is 15. Therefore, 8 plus 7 must be 15. Do you understand? Let's try another one. So again, I have two numbers and two 10 frames. So my top 10 frame, I'm going to use to make number 6. So 6 counters. And then my bottom 10 frame, I'm going to put 5 counters. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4 spaces left in my top 10 frame. We always want to fill up the top 10 frame. So I'm going to take four of my five counters and put them on my top 10 frame. So one, two, three, four. Now we have 10 because we know this is a full 10 frame, 10 plus one. And 10 plus one is easy because it's 10, 11. So 10 plus one is 11. Therefore, six plus five is also 11. See, we still have our six counters. And then we have five counters for to re represent the number five. And when we add them all together, we get 11. 
So on page 20, I explain the technique again. So this is how I want you to answer your sums. So I didn't have crayons or color crayons, so I used different symbols. So seven, I represented using hearts, and eight, I represented using stars. So in my top 10 frame, I put seven counters for seven, and then my bottom one, I put eight counters for eight. Then I made, on, my, on the bottom one, as you guys can see, I took... Seven is still at the top, and then I used three of the numbers from eight. So I put three stars to fill up this ten counter. So then I'd have ten plus how many do I have left? Five. So ten plus five is fifteen. Just to go over it again, seven hearts. So hearts are for seven, stars are for eight. So my top ten frame, I put my seven hearts, and my bottom one, I put my eight stars. Then on the next 10 frame, I again put my 7 stars and then I used far 3 of the 8 stars to fill up my 10 frame. So then I have 10 plus how many is left? 5. So 10 plus 5 is 15. Therefore, 7 plus 8 is also 15. So on page 21, I want you guys to solve the following using your 10 frames. So you're going to use one color. To represent number eight so you this is eight ten frame and then one color for number nine then you're going to put your eight again and use your nine to fill up the ten frame for eight so then it's going to be ten plus how many is left equals the answer and then you take this answer and you write it at the top same over here so six this is six ten frame five this is five ten frame so then you are going to put in your six counters again and use your five counters to fill up your six ten frame. And then you'll get ten plus whatever is left over. And you're going to write the answer at on both lines. So remember ten plus whatever is over over here. Then you tell me the answer and you write the answer at the top. So you're going to do the same for seven plus six and three plus eight. When you are done, you can unpause the video and continue to the next page where I will explain how we're going to work with number lines. So pause, quickly do the activity, re-watch the video if you need to, try re-watching it without sound if you're more of a visual person. So today we are going to look at number lines as well, which is a little bit easier to navigate. So I want to know what is 8 plus 7. So I put my finger on number eight here's my number line you have a number line on your table or you can just use a number line on your ruler so i have eight plus seven so i'm going to put my finger on numbers eight and then i'm going to jump seven times one two three four five six seven then i land on 15 so therefore we know eight plus seven equals 15. very easy so the next one we're going to do is 19 take away 11. So I put my finger on number 19. And now remember, when we, count, when we add, we move this way. And when we subtract, we move this way. So add, when there's a plus, we jump to the right. And when we subtract, we jump to the left. So now I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to jump 11 times to the left. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 19 take away 11 leaves us with 8. So again, remember when we, so, uh, when we add, we jump to the right. And when we subtract, we jump to the left. So when you are done, you go to page 22 and you complete the number line activity. Please make use of a color crown so that I can see. Remember when we add, we jump to the right. So you're going to start at 8 and you're going to jump. Use your pencil and show me how you jump 9 times to your right. And when we subtract, when we take away, we jump to our left. So you're going to start at 19 and you're going to jump. I want to see you jump with your pencils. That is all for today. Please make use of the communication channels as shown on the screen or contact me directly via email. If you have any questions or concerns, we are more than able and willing to assist you. Hope you guys have a lovely day further. Goodbye.